Humankind have finally evolved themselves in such a manner that they are neither fit to call themselves as humans nor kind. And in the same and in the name of calling themselves as the most intelligent and evolved of all species, eh, human beings have not only manipulated their own environment with an agenda to do degradation, rather they have almost destroyed it in the name of development. They have converted their intelligence into cunningness and have tampered with their surroundings to form unbearable damage. And then the same poor people find ways to restore it, claiming to have done a great deed indeed. Hindu Kush mountains which stand north of India are one such gift of nature that has been completely manhandled, maltreated and malmanaged. Often known as the third pole of earth, Hindu Kush mountain strangers are an ecological, cultural, historical, strategic, geopolitical asset not only for the region but for the world as a whole. It is one of those mountain ranges which confluence at the Pamir Knot. The beautiful topography was formed as a result of the collision of Indian subcontinent with Eurasia. Therefore, the mountains are young and seismically active which also makes them a fragile ecosystem. The mountains span across Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, Nepal, China and up till almost Bhutan as well. Hindu Kush mountains are a major source of water resources in these countries and other related resources. These ranges are snow covered to an extent that after the polar regions they are called as the third pole of the earth. Consequently, these ranges give birth to several rivers, particularly ten major rivers on the earth. Numerous ecosystems are fed by these rivers, for example, Huma wetlands which are fed by the Helmand river. Wetlands again are an important ecosystem in itself. It is no wonder that one-fourth of the world's population derive their water resources from the glaciers of the Hindu Kush. And four, biodiversity hotspots are situated in the region. The Hindu Kush mountains are also under threat, like our own tremendous other ecosystems. The effect of a some of these things like climatic aberrations, climatic change, global warming, temperature fluctuations induced primarily by anthropogenic activities are taking a toll on the snow-covered wonders of the world. The glaciers are melting at an unprecedented rate. The real cause of worry is that 36% of the Hindu Kush Himalayan snow will melt by the end of this century even if the temperature are kept within the decided 1.5 degrees of the Paris Agreement limit as per journal Nature. This shows the strain under which these glaciers are. And if this strain aggravates, the consequences of excessive melting of glaciers would be disastrous. It will lead to flooding of the entire valleys and villages, displacing millions of people and wildlife. And in the long run, rivers will become seasonal, leading to water scarcity. The Hindu Kush ranges are home to a very large biodiversity. For example, the rare snow leopard, the rare panda, Marco Polo ship, musk deers, rhododendrons, orchids, and a variety of rare medicinal plants are also found in the region. It is obvious that any change in the environmental conditions will severely impact these species. Not only flooding, Melting of glaciers will also release a tremendous amount of carbon dioxide locked up in the snow, further adding to the greenhouse gases. The threat of warming is complemented with the construction activities, tourism, migration and urban growth. A large number of hydroelectric power projects are undertaken by India, Nepal, Bhutan, which only add to the woes of the mountain communities and their abodes are flooded cracked due to seismic activity which is further induced by structures eh, like dams and the RIS that is reservoir induced seismicity. Thus it is high time that countries step in seriously to take relevant decisions because eh, borders don't define our responsibilities towards nature. There is an urgent need to include stakeholders, governments, eh, scientists, conservationists to plan restoration action. 
Mountainous regions are culturally rich and its people are very much attached to their ecology culturally. Their culture is derived from their environment and every culture has its own understanding of the environment, its herbs or its wildlife. Therefore, to preserve these cultures too, it is required that the environment is saved with active involvement of the local communities. A well-planned environmental governance is what is required with mutual cooperation. India must come forward to lead the cause. Green infrastructure, organic farming, ecotourism, sustainable rearing and grazing has to be promoted in these regions. This will also create jobs for the local people. Not to forget that resilience and mitigation measures are of utmost significance to fight with the unseen consequences and its causes as well. Water conservation strategies, afforestation and limiting dam construction on the rivers have to be managed with an aim towards minimalistic living and sustainable development. And that is the only way one can save Hindu Kush mountains.